Okay, let's look at getting started with the new VEX v5 platform using the v5 code code blocks or v5 VEX code. Um, if you see here, I've got a really basic v5 robot. Um, this one's from the beta program, but as far as software goes, it will be the same as just a normal v5. So first thing we want to do when we get into the VEX software, so this is VEX code v5, is set up a few devices. So I'm going to click on this motor here, which brings up my device manager, and go add device. So I'm going to drivetrain to motor. So first one it's asking is for my left motor. So my left motor would be on this wheel over here. So I need to track that back. Here's the wire. That wire is going to port one. So we'll go to point, port one on the left motor. The right motor is here and it's plugged into port two. And I'm not running any gyroscope, so no gyro. Um, so wheel diameter, I'm using standard four inch wheels. My track width, I've got some space and stuff in there. So mine's actually going to be 300 mils. And my wheelbase, now wheelbase is, if we look at the side of the robot, the distance from center to center is my wheelbase. So in the case of my robot, my wheelbase is 150 millimeters. Gear ratio is one to one. And we'll just bring this down for a second. So I've got my 150 mils wheelbase there, my one to one gear ratio, and I'm using the red um, gearboxes. So we'll click on that, which will bring it to 100 RPM. It was, so from there, that's all good. I can say done. And you'll see some blocks showing up for a drivetrain. The next one that I want to add is for my remote control. So I'm going to go to add a device, and I'm going to say controller. Now, like the IQ system, this is exactly the same. Click on what you want. So if I click there, there's forward with this joystick, right and left with that joystick. That's the same on the other side. That is forward and backwards on your left hand and turning on your right. And that is forward on both. So like that, I can go done, like so. I can now download this program to the robot and it wants me to save it. So what today is March 9th, March 9, just so I know what I'm doing. I'll save that and it's gonna upload to the robot. So once it's uploaded, I can hit run and I've got my controller. And if you move the joysticks, you'll see now that you've got some movement there. So let's go a bit bigger on this for a second. So there's the robot. There's my joystick. Sorry, it's a bit blurry. But you can see there's my controls working. Now, it looks like my left control is inverted. Actually, it looks like both my controls are inverted. So I'm going to go back and fix that. So let's minimize this down for a second. Pop back in here. I'm going to go and drivetrain. And just click that arrow, which is going to change the direction. So that's good. Click done. And I'll download that to the robot again. And we'll try that again. And we should see there's our forward. So now everything's working right. So just like that, I've got this robot ready to drive. All right, so the camera back down. So next thing, on the same robot, I've got two more motors, one for the claw and one for the arm. So I'm gonna go add device again motor and we'll do the hand arm first sorry not the arm the hand arm the claw so i'm going to trace this wire back i can see that's in three and i'm just going to name this claw so i don't forget and we'll go done for now 
And I'll go another one. So I've got motor. You do this one here, which is for the arm. Tracing the wire back. And it looks like that is in port eight. And I'll leave that all as is for now. So now I've got, oh, we'll rename that arm. So now you'll see that I've got a claw motor and an arm motor. If I go back to my controller, I can now assign that to different buttons. So I click on here. Now the left side is the claw. Click on that one. Now the, sorry, the left side is the claw, right side is the arm. I click done. And again, if I download this to the robot and hit run, I should see those buttons on the remote now start. So there's the arm. And there's the claw. So all of which is working properly. Um, now right now, up is bringing the arm down, down is bringing the arm up. So like we did on the last one, we can pop in here and we can go to that arm motor and we can reverse it. And done. Download that to the robot again and hit play. And we should see now those controls are working just the way that I want them. So like that, that is a simple driver control program for the VEX V5 using VEX code.